Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to take you through an Elementor add-on which is pretty interesting called Essential Add-ons for Elementor and I know you guys are going to love it. So I'm going to take you through my best features in the free version. At the same time, I'll also show you my best features in the pro version and we're going to see this just right now. If you're new to this channel, my name is Hamza and I make tutorials just like this on this channel from complete beginner tutorials on how to use WordPress to reviews and tutorials on how you can use specific tools in WordPress. So consider subscribing and also clicking on the bell so that you don't miss out on new other tutorials when I push them out. Thank you so much and now let's dive straight in. So to get started using this plugin called Essential Add-ons for Elementor, first thing you have to do is to go to the plugin section and then you are going to say add new plugin and right here you'll search for Essential Add-on and once you search that, it will pop up right here. At the moment, it has about 300,000 active installations. So you'll find it here. Simply install and activate. I already have it installed and activated. Uh, once it's activated, then it will show up here, right here in the menu section. So simply click over there. Boom, then we are here on the main section. They simply show you a couple of things or resources that you can always reflect to in case you are looking up for something. However, we are interested in the elements and the extensions area. So in the elements area, they simply show you or list for you all the available elements in this add-on for Elementor. And we have from content elements, dynamic content elements, creative elements, and marketing elements and last but not the least form styler elements social feed elements and then we have land dash elements so in the free version once you activate the plugin it will automatically activate the free available elements to use and this is what you see right here the ones that are in green and those that are pro they won't be activated because you're having a free version and if you want the pro version i'm going to leave my affiliate link down in the description box below so when you use it i actually get a small commission with no extra cost to you if in any case you get the pro version then you can simply always just come over here and activate a feature that you want to use so you don't always have everything activated and yet you're not using it so for us to get started we're going to start looking first on the advanced accordion i find this uh, for me interesting because uh, you can style and customize these accordions to what you want so for example this is the first set you have something like this and then there is this other whereby these titles are actually uh, having the hover effect and then we have these other toggles of this type when you even have the icon changed something like this also we also have this you can even change the color or the styling of these arrows and to use the advanced accordion element you simply just come over to your dashboard and open up a page or template where you want to use them i already have my page opened up here and i'm simply going to add a new section here or widget and then i'm going to come over here to the element section then i'll look up for the essential add-ons section which is always down here here something like this it's called essential add-ons for Elementor but what sometimes I do I simply collapse all these other sections that I really want to use and I only leave what I want to use just like this then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up for the advanced accordion once I have it here I grab it to my element or section and then boom this is what we have like I said you can make changes to these titles sections toggles or whatever I call it. First of all, I can choose the type of accordion if I want to use it as an accordion or a toggle by simply switching over here. But in this case, I want to use the accordion. And then when I click over the first option, I go over to the content settings. And this is where the first option settings are or where you can change things around. For example, here we can change, first of all, the tab title by saying this is my first tab title okay now once i have that in then the content this is one of the beauties is that you can use one of a sub template that you imported from somewhere else or one that you built in within elementor and you use it inside your tab or accordion section 
but if you don't want that you can simply use the content you can just simply type everything here and you are good to go this is what will appear just right below here we can also make changes to our icons this is a plus icon by clicking here on the icon library or we can actually upload our own svg icons and to do that you simply click over here and upload our svg if you don't know how to use or create svg icons i've already created tutorials on how you can use those icons within elementor and i'm going to leave a link up here in the card so that you can always follow up on that tutorial and see how you can use svg images within elementor however Elementor has an icon library that has thousands of icons that you can use within your Elementor website for free. So by clicking over here on the icon library section, you simply can browse through the number of icons. So in this case, in case I just select any of what is in here, let me say this, then I say insert and boom, you see, now we have this icon here and there you are we can also make changes on all the other tabs we can duplicate tab sections we can simply create a new tab by simply clicking over here on add new item and also we can simply duplicate a tab and drag it down over here once you are done creating your tabs you can also do the stylings on those tabs or how you want them to look like by simply coming over here to the style section come to the tab style and you can make changes to the color, the hover, the typography, and a lot more other things. So you have so many options on what you can do once you have this advanced accordion from Essential Add-ons for Elementor. So once you are done here, you simply hit update and you are good to go. So in the next section, let's look into the tool tips, which is actually also an element that is made by Essential Add-ons for Elementor and is also available in the free version. The tooltip basically helps your visitors to know what an icon or image or section is all about by simply hovering that section and they can seem to understand what that section is all about. For example, when I hover over this, uh, you see these pop-ups which are actually uh, tooltips on what that specific section is all about. And it is pretty simple to do in Elementor. You simply just come over to your element section, come to the elements, and then you can simply come over here and look up for the tool tip. Okay, tool tip, which is right here. Grab it to your section and boom, you can have your elements or sections or images have a tool tip on them. So in this case, let me try to add an image. So by simply clicking on the edit option of that element, come over here to the image icon and then I can simply add an image Okay, maybe I'll try this image, insert it right there, and boom, I have an image right here. Now I'm going to add a tooltip. So to do that, I simply come over down here to the tooltip settings, and I can name that tooltip, and I say managing director. Okay, now when I hover over this image, you see now our tooltip has changed to managing director we can also make changes to the stylings of the content the background and a lot more and also at the same time we can make changes to the tooltip style itself for example if we change the background for that tooltip when i hover over that you see now we have changed the background for that tooltip and a lot more other things you can do once you get this uh, amazing plugin and of course this is actually in the free version of essential add-ons for elementor next we are going to look into the advanced menus advanced menus is an element with essential add-ons for elementor which is actually in the pro version and in this case you can create both horizontal and vertical menus using this element within elementor so this is how they actually look like this is a horizontal menu with a drop down see the, how that looks like this is another one see how that looks like there is also this one you see how it is it takes over the whole horizontal canvas and this is how it looks like the same here with two borders one thick and one thin and we have another one which is kind of left aligned and then we have another one which is also horizontal and then we come over to the vertical menus you see how this look like and then we can also have a vertical menu which is on the right hand side which is right aligned this is how it looks like very nice looks nice with the hover effects and this is how the drop down looks like and of course you have your page content 
right here on the left hand side so that's how you can actually create an advanced menu when you get the essential add-ons for elementor pro next we can look into the content timeline content timeline is an amazing way you can actually present your content in kind of a timeline form or a step-by-step -step form in this case if you have like posts that are kind of sequential or or that are leading someone to one step or another you can simply use the timeline forms or timeline element within essential add-ons for elementor to build that up this is how it looks like uh, this is showcasing a timeline of how these blog posts are published on that specific website and here is a blog post that was published on the 30th blog post that was published on the 23rd 17th and then there is also another layout which looks like this you see how this is simply moving down to the next section you see how that looks like and then there is also another custom content timeline that you can actually create when you get the essential add-ons for elementor this is how it looks like looking nice and i love it so anyway that's a quick look through on the content timeline with essential add-ons for elementor next let's look at the data tables so in case you want to create tables in your Elementor website or a way how you want to showcase data in a tabular format, Essential Add-ons for Elementor is something you should consider. And actually the data table element comes in the free version of Essential Add-ons for Elementor. Let me take you through how that looks like. Right here we have this and then there is other default style whereby you can actually sort tables by the ID, name, position, the office, age, start date see how that looks like really nice and then for example we can also create tables for new orders for example if someone ordered for you know a specific good or service or product you can simply create tables for that and then we can also create tables for a menu uh, something like this and even for example an event schedule in any case you want to create a data table within your elementor website simply have this plugin installed and activated come over here to elementor Come to the element section and then come right here and then we look up for the data table which is right here once you have it over here then you simply click on that data table element and here you can actually create headers for your data table and you can also add content to those headers so you can change that header title and also for other headers and then you can even make changes to those specific headers like spanning the content adding a header custom icon we can add columns and rows to specific headers and sections within our table in case there are links within your content you can make changes to the link colors and hover colors for those specific links and you can also work on the responsive settings of the data table in your elementor website the other thing you can actually have with essential add-ons for elementor is an easy way to display price menus within your Elementor website. You can use this for, for example, an event or a function or a restaurant that you're going to be running. And you can easily display images, prices, and description of specific products within your Elementor website. And this is how it works like. For example, you can create, you know, items, give them titles, descriptions, images, and a price. When you go down over here, you can simply add them right here you can even add call to actions or buttons within your price menu so that when someone clicks over an item they can easily check out on your elementor website and probably make a payment so you see how this looks like the price description the styling really looks amazing look at this the bad news is that this feature is not available in the free version in the free version you only have the pricing table not the price menu in that case if you want to use this specific version then you have to actually get the pro version of essential add-ons for elementor anyway on the other hand we have an amazing tool which is the one page navigator or a way to create a wordpress website using elementor with only one page this is how it looks like for example you want to navigate to a specific section of features services pricing plans and lastly you know a blog section so in this case i'm actually navigating the whole website but just simply from one single face of the website i've actually created a tutorial on how to actually create a one page website using elementor in this case i didn't use this i used another method within elementor it never required you to uh, install another plugin but hey the beauty about this is that you have these icons here on the sidebar which actually enable your visitor to simply navigate through your website which i never actually 
did in that tutorial in that tutorial I was basically using a menu that I created over here and I linked that menu to specific sections of your WordPress or Elementor website that's why I find this element pretty interesting within essential add-ons for Elementor next we can look into one other amazing element within the essential add-ons for Elementor which is the image comparison and why did I find this interesting is that the way the effects are portrayed and how the comparison comes out like is really amazing for example look at this look how sweet this is look in case you want to create a website where you can easily compare images or products then this is an add-on or element you can consider having within your WordPress website Next we can look into is the content protection element within essential add-ons for Elementor. Why content protection? I've been writing content for now over two years on my blog. One thing I always wanted to have is a possibility whereby I can actually write content that is only going to be viewed or accessed by people who have subscribed to my blog or people who are members in my blog or people who are basically customers. This is where this specific element comes into play whereby you can protect content that and that content can only be accessed by members or subscribers or your customers that are already signed up with your wordpress website and when you have this kind of element you simply password protect a specific piece of content or they simply have to be members or they have to subscribe to your blog to access that content and hey if you are a content creator also or you're running a specific website or blog then this is an element you would wish to have in case you're using elementor as your page builder this is how it works like you simply add the element then you choose a protection type then they select the roles of people whom you want to access that specific content in this case author subscriber or customer and then pop up you may even add a message and then also you can switch the protection type a user role to a password protected you know to a password protected protection and then you can even set the password and you can simply send passwords to your subscribers or people whom you want to access that specific piece of content once that is done we have one more other that i want us to look into and this is the reading progress bar look at the top of this browser you see when i scroll down you see the green bar that is coming over to the very end of the browser that is the reading progress bar in case you are someone who writes content or long form content on your website or you simply want to communicate to your visitors that hey this blog won't take you a lot of time for as far as you are you are almost done this is an element you would love to add into your elementor website and it's very simple you simply activate it and you are good to go so with that said i think essential add-ons for elementor is a plugin or extension that i think you can consider using in your wordpress website before i forget there is one other that i found really interesting that is actually activated automatically once you activate this plugin and that is the content duplicator option whereby once you have essential add-ons activated you simply have this option of ea duplicator you can duplicate pages and post at a go so you simply don't have to be worried of recreating the same piece of content you simply just have to click on that piece of content and it's automatically duplicated just like this once that section is duplicated it is saved as a draft and you can simply make changes to that section and hey if you wish to republish that well and good you are good to go so anyway thank you so much for watching this tutorial if it brought you value please consider hitting the like button and if you're new to this channel please consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss out on new content when i push it out and hey if you would like to check out essential add-ons for elementor consider checking out in the description box below i'm going to provide them my affiliate link whereby if you use it to purchase anything from essential add-ons for elementor you are not charged anything extra but i receive a commission once you purchase anything from them that way i can keep making such tutorials on this channel and hey consider liking this video if you like it and smash the subscribe button if you would like to join the community and hey i would love to have you here and thank you so much and see you in the next video